Chapter 771 Full Moon Peak, 2, in Falling Sky Valley, although Lumo's skills are second to you, the gap between you two is extremely wide. Full Moon Peak Peak Master spoke slowly, but his confidence in his grandson was evident in his tone, I've never nurtured you as an ordinary disciple. Full Moon Peak Peak Master told Xuan Yunlai, I understand replied Xuan Yunlai. His usual cultivation was separated from other disciples, and his cultivation method was personally chosen by his grandfather. Even those disciples under his grandfather were completely unaware of his cultivation method. The full moon peak peak master nodded slightly and continued. Are you bothered by that Yi Chen? Xuan Yunlai said, I don't think much of that Yi Chen, it's just that he is perfected Xuan Jin's disciple. When the old valley master wanted to pass the acting valley master position to perfected Xuan Jin, all the peaks in Falling Sky Valley were very dissatisfied. In terms of skills and qualifications, which of them are you not better than perfected Xuan Jin? You're clearly more suitable to be Falling Sky Valley's valley master than him. All of perfected Xuan Jin's disciples are mediocre and I haven't even paid attention to Gu Yihun. Yi Chen is of dubious background and could defeat Liu Mo despite his young age. When perfected Xu Anjin accepted him back then, people already found it strange, and it's said that Yi Chen is only a yellow spirit root. But currently, the skills that Yi Chen displayed does not seem to be from those of an ordinary yellow spirit root. I think that there may be some special relationship between Yi Chen and perfected Xu Anjin. Moreover, just a few days after Yi Chen entered the valley, he sparred with Blue Cloud Peaks Li Jingwin and Water Cut Peaks Liu Mo and even defeated them. I think that it's very possible that he did this because perfected Xu Anjin hinted to him in secret and wanted to make use of this to beat us three peaks. Xu Anyi Yun Lai said coldly, Blue Cloud Peak and Water Cut Peak depended on Full Moon Peak and were at odds with perfected Xu Anjin. Previously, the only disciple that Admirable Sky Peak could show off was Gu Yihun. Moreover, Gu Yihun could contend against Liu Mo at most, but it was insufficient for him to achieve victory. Yi Kington just entered the valley, but she picked up troubles with the other two peaks successively, which was clearly directed against them. Oh? Full Moon Peak Peak Master raised a brow. What plans do you have then? Xu Yun Lai scoffed coldly. Perfected Xu Anjin snatched your Valley Master position back then. Since Yi Chen is his disciple, there's no need for me to be polite with him. Did Yi Kington wishfully think that she could dominate over the other disciples in Falling Sky Valley? It was simply delusional. The Full Moon Peak Peak Master nodded. He did not pay much attention to Yi Kington. However, since his own grandson found the other party is a nice or, it was not bad to deal with him now. Forget it, just make whatever arrangements you're thinking of. There's no need to tell me, you just need to remember that you're different from all the Falling Sky Valley's disciples. Your future is to be the Valley Master of Falling Sky Valley. The Full Moon Peak Peak Master hinted. He did not raise his grandson so painstakingly to let him become an ordinary disciple. He would take back perfected Xu Anqin's Valley Master position sooner or later, and he would definitely pass this position down to Xu Anyuan Lai in the future. Xu Anyuan Lai's eyes flickered, and he said immediately, I understand. Don't worry, Grandfather. Chapter 772 Peerless School 1. After the incidents with Li Jingwen and Liu Mo, Yi Kington's reputation soared among the admirable Sky Peak disciples. Everyone called senior brother Yi resoundingly. Because of Yi Kington's actions, many admirable Sky Peak disciples were heavily influenced. Although they closely obeyed perfected Xu Anqin's orders to not stir up troubles, they no longer swallowed their anger in silence like before. They struck when they had to. The change in the admirable Sky Peak disciples fell into Yi Kington's eyes. A few days ago, she just received news from Master Du. When she went to the Bliss Forging workshop the other time, she had already left a message for Master Du that she was willing to collaborate with him on the Dragon Vein. Currently, Master Du had already made all the preparations and asked to meet Yi Kington tomorrow morning. Then, they would head to the Dragon Vein. Yi Kington made some preparations. However, when she walked around Falling Sky Valley in the afternoon, she faintly sensed that there was something wrong with the atmosphere in Falling Sky Valley. Junior Brother Yi Yin King Liuo saw Yi Kington from afar and walked over immediately. Senior Sister Yin 
Did anything happen in the valley? Yi Qingtong questioned. Yin King Liuo took a look at Yi Qingtong and sighed subsequently. The peerless school people are here. Peerless school. Yi Qingtong's eyes darkened. The peerless school was a top force in Nine Knights dynasty, and even super forces like Tangang Sect and Falling Sky Valley were beneath the peerless school. The peerless school possessed the most powerful figures in Nine Knights dynasty and their might was not what Falling Sky Valley could compare to. Junior Brother Yi, you just entered the valley and may not be clear about the Peerless School. The Peerless School is in charge of various forces in Nine Knights Dynasty, and even our Falling Sky Valley has to offer tributes to them regularly. There was helplessness in Yin King Liuo's tone. The power and influence of the Peerless School were not what ordinary people could match up with. The tributes they wanted was an enormous sum and it was extremely difficult for even a force like Falling Sky Valley to pool sufficient tributes. The old valley master of Falling Sky Valley refused to offer tributes to the peerless school because the tributes they wanted were too enormous. However, after that, the old valley master was severely injured in an accident. Although this seemed to be unrelated to the peerless school, anyone with discerning eyes was clearly aware that the peerless school people were the only ones in Nine Knights Dynasty who could injure the old valley master. The peerless school asked for something big this time. I'm afraid master will be troubled again. Yin King Liuo sighed. Just as they were talking, a row of people suddenly entered Falling Sky Valley's square with a crowd surrounding them. There were two young men in long gowns who looked at most over twenty yet wore haughty expressions. Many Falling Sky Valley's wardens and disciples followed beside those two people. We were unaware that the peerless school's envoys would be here today. Please pardon us for not receiving you all earlier. Xun Feng said politely as he followed the two peerless school disciples. As a falling sky valley warden, his face was, however, piled with smiles of flattery. Do we still have to let your falling sky valley know when we're coming? A peerless school disciple swept a glance at Xun Feng coldly. A layer of cold sweat covered Xun Feng's forehead immediately. The other wardens hurriedly spoke up. There were many falling sky valley disciples near the square. Once they saw the two young men from the peerless school, respect filled their eyes as they kept a distance away quietly. Chapter 773 Peerless School 2. Senior brother, who are those two people? Why are Warden Xung and the other wardens following beside them, and why do they look like they are pleasing them? A disciple who just entered the valley not long ago looked in confusion at the two young men who were being escorted by a group of people. Lower your voice. His senior brother hurriedly warned him and said softly, Those two people are from the Peerless School. Peerless School? The room at Peerless School where all the top powerful figures are gathered in? That disciple's face was filled with astonishment. Since you know it, you must be more careful. Not mentioning wardens, even our Falling Sky Valley elders have to show utmost deference to the peerless school disciples. The disciple shuddered with fear. He originally thought that he had entered a super force after he entered Falling Sky Valley, but unexpectedly. Falling Sky Valley had to be this cautious before the peerless school. As the two of them were discussing softly, a peerless school disciple suddenly frowned. His sharp gaze passed through the crowd and swept towards the two disciples who were mumbling softly, Who is commenting on my peerless school? A peerless school disciple shouted coldly. The Falling Sky Valley wardens broke out in cold sweat immediately. The people around those two Falling Sky Valley disciples dispersed like birds instantly leaving those two horrified disciples at the same spot. This is how Falling Sky Valley teaches its disciples? The older-looking peerless school disciple looked coldly at the wardens beside him. Xun Feng and the rest were dripping with cold sweat. They looked at the two dumbstruck Falling Sky Valley disciples and berated immediately. How insolent! Who gave you the nerves to comment on the peerless school? Get lost and go receive your punishments. The two disciples trembled and retreated silently. However, wait. A peerless school disciple suddenly spoke. The warden's face stiffened, unclear of the other party's intention. Those two disciples were pale from the shock, and they remained rooted to the ground, not daring to move. The peerless school disciple looked at those two disciples. Anyone who dares to casually comment about my peerless school will naturally have to be punished. Yes, yes, yes. This is a must. We will let them go to the disciplinary hall to be punished. 
Xun Feng agreed with them, don't trouble. The peerless school disciple nodded, and a faint murderous air emerged in his eyes. In the next second, he suddenly raised his hand, and a golden ray of light immediately shot out from his palm. In just an instant, that golden light was shot towards one of the two falling Sky Valley disciples and pierced through the person's globula once the golden light touched him. A streak of blood spurted out from that disciple's globula. Without a wail, that disciple collapsed on the ground with a thud, and the horror on his face was still frozen even when he died. Ah! Seeing his own senior brother dying in front of him, that disciple who just entered the valley fell to the ground in shock. Until this moment, he still had not realized what wrong had they done exactly and why his life was taken. A faint smell of blood spread in the air at that moment. The falling Sky Valley disciples watched that instant death in disbelief. They heard the discussion of those two disciples as well. However, those two disciples only said a few things secretly, and there was no criticism about the peerless school at all. But this was enough for them to lose their lives. Chapter 774 Peerless School 3. The Falling Sky Valley Wardens never thought that the peerless school disciples would be so ruthless and were stunned. Mercy. I'm wrong. I will not dare to do it again. Please spare my life frightened out of his wits. The disciple knelt on the ground and kowtowed repeatedly as he begged for mercy. The other Falling Sky Valley disciples were extremely despondent when they witnessed the sight. However, the peerless school disciple did not take pity on the Falling Sky Valley disciple. He lifted his hand slightly, and a ray of golden light was shot out from his palm once again, killing that imploring disciple instantly. From the start to the end. The Falling Sky Valley Wardens from aside could not utter any pleas for leniency. The Falling Sky Valley Disciples were dead silent, and they trembled at the sight of the two dead bodies on the ground. At that instant, perfected Xuanjian and a few other elders walked over together. Xuan Yuan Lai followed behind the full moon peaks peak master. When the Falling Sky Valley Disciples saw them, hope rose in their hearts. We were unaware of your arrival. Excuse us for not going out to meet you earlier. Perfected Xuanjin greeted. The two peerless school disciples swept to look over perfunctorily. Xuan Yun Lai, who was standing behind the full moon peak peak master, glanced across the surrounding and felt that the atmosphere was strange. It was then he noticed the corpses of two falling Sky Valley disciples not far away. This is. This two disciples offended the peerless school envoys just now and was punished by the envoys. A warden explained. Perfected Xuanjin's eyes dimmed upon hearing it. Xuan Yun Lai frowned slightly, and this reaction caused a trace of help to arise in the Falling Sky Valley disciples' hearts. Xuan Yun Lai was the number one talent of Falling Sky Valley, and he would probably be infuriated when the peerless school disciples killed Falling Sky Valley disciples so casually on Falling Sky Valley's turf. However, Xuan Yuan Lai suddenly turned around and bowed to those two peerless school disciples with cupped fists. We have troubled you. It truly is our negligence for Falling Sky Valley to have such insolent disciples. Please don't take offense, envoys. Xuan Yuan Lai's words stunned many disciples. Since it's negligence, the better not be such an incident ever again, lest our hands are dirtied. A peerless school disciple said, Rest assured, envoys, there will never be such a case again in the future. Xuan Yun Lai agreed. The peerless school disciples nodded slightly before looking straight at Falling Sky Valley's perfected Xuanjin. Perfected Xuanjin, are Falling Sky Valley's tribute for this year prepared? Perfected Xuanjin repressed his emotions and replied, They have been prepared long ago. Then, he exchanged a look with an elder beside him who directly handed the list of tributes to the peerless school disciples. The peerless school demanded a huge quantity of tributes. Apart from large amounts of superior grade spirit stones, they even required hundreds of Dharma treasures. It could be said that at least half of the entire Falling Sky Valley's earnings landed in the pockets of the peerless school. The peerless school disciples received the list of tributes and sneers hung on their lips after taking a glance. The quantity doesn't seem to be right, doesn't it? Perfected Xuanjin was slightly dumbfounded. Everything on the list is prepared according to the rules that the peerless school had set in the previous years. Chapter 775 Giving You Face 1. This year is different from the previous years. 
The peerless school disciple smiled and lifted his chin. Have you forgotten, perfected Xuanjin? Your old valley master did not give us any tributes last year. Since one year of tributes is missing, you all naturally have to make up for it this year. The peerless school disciple said and threw that list on a falling Sky Valley elder's face. Perfected Xuanjin, you're still using this list to fool us. What a joke. Perfected Xuanjin's expression darkened, and even the peak masters behind him never thought that the peerless school would have such high demands. The tributes that they squeezed out to offer to the peerless school every year were already their limit. It was so that they even had to dock the welfare of their own valley's disciples in order to fill the vacancy. Yet, the peerless school still wanted them to double the number of tributes now. This, I'm afraid there are some difficulties. We have always prepared according to the original rules, an elder said hesitantly. The peerless school snickered coldly. The tributes that we set for Falling Sky Valley back then were already very little, but your old valley master did not know how to be grateful. Could it be that you all don't know what gratitude is? There was a hint of a threat in the peerless school disciples' words. The Falling Sky Valley elders and peak masters had ugly expressions. Perfected Xuanjin frowned slightly. After hesitating for a moment, he finally said, it is our negligence. Please rest in the valley for a while, envoys. We will prepare them now. Sure. We will just take a spin in the valley. Then, the peerless school disciple lifted his hand and pointed at Xuan Yuanli. Let him bring us around. Delight arose in Xuan Yuanli upon being appointed by the peerless school disciple. Perfected Xuan Jin. The elders, and the peak masters could only return to the hall to discuss how to gather the additional tributes. The scene fell into the eyes of the falling Sky Valley disciples, who felt sorrowful. The peerless school was so mighty that even their valley master and peak masters could only concede to them. This way please. Xuan Yun Lai was all smiles, completely unlike his usual arrogance. Yi King Tung and Yin King Liu were walking to Falling Sky Valley's square and suddenly saw Xuan Yun Lai and two young men walking towards them. Furthermore, Xuan Yun Lai had a polite and solicitous expression on his face. Who are those two people? Yi King Tung said. There were not many who could make the conceited Xuan Yun Lai be so polite. Yin King Liu looked over and was alarmed. She immediately spoke with a hushed voice. Junior brother Yi, those two are envoys from the peerless school. However, the moment Yin King Liu spoke, the emotionless peerless school disciples beside Xuan Yun Lai suddenly looked at them. Yin King Liu spoke extremely softly to Yi King Tung earlier on. But the skills of these two peerless school disciples were pretty good, and that slight sound traveled into their ears word for word. Their expressions darkened immediately. Xuan Yuan Lai sensed the gaze of the two people and immediately followed their gaze, which caused Xuan Yuan Lai to snicker in his heart. He had not taken time to find trouble for Yi Kingdom, but she sent herself knocking on the door instead today. Then, Xuan Yun Lai immediately put on a straight face and reproached coldly. How brazen. Who allowed you two to criticize the peerless school? Chapter 776 Giving You Face, 2. Then, Xuan Yun Lai immediately put on a straight face and reproached coldly. How brazen. Who allowed you two to criticize the peerless school? Xuan Yun Lai shouted, drawing the attention of Yi King Tung and Yin King Liu. It was then that Yin King Liu realized those two peerless school disciples were looking at her and Yi King Tung coldly. An inauspicious premonition struck Yin King Liu's mind suddenly. Yi King Tung looked at Xuan Yun Lai coldly before glancing at the two peerless school disciples. One of the peerless school disciples lifted his chin slightly and pointed at Yin King Liu and Yi King Tung. Come here. Yin King Liu had no choice but to brace herself and head over with Yi Kington. That peerless school disciple subsequently glanced at Yi Kington at Yin King Liu O. Oh. His eyes landed on Yi Kington, and he said, You, kneel down. Xuan Yun Lai obviously laughed in his heart when he saw the peerless school disciple's reaction. However, those falling Sky Valley disciples who had not dispersed from the square felt a shudder when they saw the sight. Those two falling Sky Valley disciples merely whispered a few sentences and were mercilessly killed by the peerless school people. Now, 
Yi Kington was noticed to be making comments about the peerless school by the peerless school people again. Most likely, the disciples shook their heads secretly. Yin King Liu was all the more nervous with worry. Only Yi Kington's expression was the same as before as she looked at that peerless school disciple indifferently. In the next second, Yi Kington suddenly lifted her leg and kicked the knees of that peerless school disciple. Sharp pain took over him in an instant. Defenseless, the peerless school disciple fell on his knees with a thud before Yi Kington. There was dead silence in the surroundings. Everyone stared at the scene before their eyes in bewilderment. Even Xuan Yun Lai was utterly stunned as well. No one had expected that Yi Kington actually dared to attack a peerless school disciple. What are you? How dare you order me to kneel? Yi Kington said coldly as she looked at the peerless school disciple. The other peerless school disciple was taken aback. Seeing that his senior brother was treated this way by the falling Sky Valley disciple before him. A gleam flashed across his eyes. He unsheathed his sword immediately and aimed towards Yi Kington. You have a death wish. Yi Kington took a few steps back and dodged the sharp sword easily. Turning her palm, she locked that disciple's wrist and kicked that person's abdomen. A loud thud rang. That peerless school disciple was sent flying several meters away by Yi Kington's kick. After returning to his senses, the other peerless school disciple stood up immediately and lunged at Yi Kington. The scene completely dumbfounded everyone at the square. Yi Kington actually dared to hit the peerless school disciples. Was she tired of living? Yi Kington looked at the peerless school disciple who charged towards her indifferently. She drew out the demonic blood sword and used it to hit the sword in that disciple's hand away before sending him a flying kick which caused him to be flung out. Everything happened too abruptly that even Yin King Liuo had not taken it in. When she saw that the two peerless school disciples were sent flying away from Yi Kington's kick, she finally returned to her senses and broke out in a cold sweat immediately. Is junior brother Yi insane? Those two are disciples of the peerless school. Chapter 777 Giving You Face 3. The two peerless school disciples never thought that there would actually be such a reckless disciple in Falling Sky Valley. As they realized that they took the enemy lightly, a murderous expression filled their faces. Then, the two of them lifted their swords and charged forward. A bright and intense light enveloped the two of them as they forcefully slashed their swords down at where Yi Kington was standing. Two swords that were each several meters long directly slew Yi Kington's thin frame. However, just as the sword auras were about to land, a transparent air hood enshrouded Yi Kington, and the sword auras crashed directly on it. With a loud boom, clouds of dust swirled in the surroundings while Yi Kington was unscathed. In the next second, a cold gleam flashed across Yi Kington's eyes. Break. The air hood around her exploded suddenly and a powerful burst of air charged towards the two peerless school disciples. Under the sweeping wave of air, the two peerless school disciples were directly propelled away. Everyone at the square was dumbfounded. It goes without saying how mighty the peerless school was. Even the skills of a random ordinary disciple was above those of Falling Sky Valley's number one talent, Xuan Yunlai. However, all by herself, Yi Kington actually beat those two peerless school disciples up to the point where they could no longer retaliate. For a moment, everyone was muddled. You two are merely ordinary disciples of the peerless school. How dare you be so arrogant in front of me? If your peerless school Zelda was here, perhaps I'd give him some face. Yi Kington looked at those dust-covered peerless school disciples coldly as though she was enfolded by a layer of austerity. The two peerless school disciples steadied themselves in a fluster. In the short moment when they exchanged blows earlier on, they sensed that the other party's skills were above theirs. What Yi Kington said, however, caused the two of them to halt their actions. It was simply impossible for Falling Sky Valley to nurture such a powerful disciple. Moreover, this person clearly knew their identities but still dared to attack them. At that instant, a trace of hesitation emerged on the faces of the two peerless school people. They originally thought that the youth before them was merely a falling Sky Valley disciple, yet now this person still dared to attack them. Unless this person was an idiot, how would he dare to offend the peerless school? If he was really an idiot, why would his skills be so powerful? Could this fellow be from the hidden clan? The peerless school disciple said hesitantly, in the entire mainland, the peerless school was already the top force, 
and its disciples were the most outstanding. However, between the various forces, there were many ancient family clans hidden from the world. Most of those hidden clans had vanished from the world's eyes and only occasionally appeared as rumored. The strong heritage of the hidden clan was simply unfathomable. Even the current number one family clan in Nine Knights Dynasty, Uyang family clan, was inadequate to be associated with the rumored hidden clan. Who exactly are you? The peerless school disciple asked coldly. Yi King Tung said coldly, in the sea of clouds at Mount Kin, perhaps you all will know my identity. When Yi King Tung said that, the two peerless school disciples' expression stiffened, as rumored. The last place the hidden clan returned to and lived in seclusion was in the sea of clouds at Mount Kin. This fellow, could he really be a disciple of those hidden clans? Chapter 778 Putting on a Complete Show 1. Thinking of Yi Kington's skills, the two disciples deliberated. The rumored hidden clan was ancient and mysterious, and even a force like the peerless school could not compare to them. If he was really from the hidden clan, the two ordinary peerless school disciples were truly not influential enough to offend him. Then, the two of them exchanged a look and put on an arrogant front. We will let you off today, fellow. The two peerless school disciples left directly after throwing that sentence. As Yi Kington watched them leave, an undetectable smile passed her eyes. Without thinking, she also knew what those two peerless school disciples were deliberating about. Hidden clans? God knows where those hidden clans were living in seclusion at now. However, Yi Kington could take advantage of this and put on an act. Xuan Yun Lai stared blankly at the back view of the two peerless school disciples. He did not know about the legend of the hidden clans and thus could not understand why those two disciples would suddenly stop and leave. Yi Chen, how bold of you. How dare you offend the peerless school. A trace of viciousness flashed across Xuan Yun Lai's eyes as he turned around and headed to the main hall of Falling Sky Valley. Junior brother Yi, what do we do now? Yin King Liu walked to Yi King Tung's side in a hurry. Although it was a good thing that those two peerless school disciples suddenly left, Yi King Tung did offend them, and this was anything but reassuring. Yi King Tung said, different situations call for different actions. In her previous life, the peerless school was extremely rude to Falling Sky Valley. It collected Falling Sky Valley's tributes and said it would protect Falling Sky Valley's safety. But when Falling Sky Valley encountered a calamity, the peerless school did not even provide any help. If not for the fact that Yi King Tung's current skills could not win against the peerless school, she would not need to make use of the hidden clan's name to scare them and would have torn the entire peerless school down. After experiencing the peerless school's arrogance and witnessing Yi King Tung helping them to vent their anger, the other Falling Sky Valley disciples were truly delighted. However, before the disciples could gather around Yi Kington and talk to her, a warden rushed over and looked at Yi Kington with a stern expression. Yi Chen, the Valley Master ordered you to head to the main hall immediately. In the main hall, perfected Xuanjin was solemn. The Peak Masters and Elders in the main hall, similarly, had dark expressions. Xuan Yun Lai was standing beside the full moon peak peak master presently after notifying everyone of Yi King Tung's strife with the peerless school envoys. Offending the peerless school was absolutely not what the falling sky valley wanted to see. In just a while, Yi King Tung and Yin King Liu entered the main hall with the warden from before. Disciple greets master. Yi King Tung greeted with a bow. Perfected Xuanjin looked at the disciple before him with a slight frown and a heavy head. Before waiting for Perfected Xuanjin to speak, the full moon peak peak master from a side shouted coldly, Yi Chen, you committed a heinous crime. Kneel down now. Yi King Tung looked up with a flat expression. I did not do anything wrong. Why do I need to kneel? You're still reluctant to admit your mistakes? The full moon peak peak master narrowed his eyes and looked at Yi Kington coldly. You entered the valley for less than half a month, but you have already caused troubles in the valley continuously. Now, you even dare to be disrespectful to the peerless school envoys. You did not just do something wrong. You clearly committed a crime worthy of death. Chapter 779 Putting on a Complete Show 2 Yin King Liuo, since you were at the scene just now, Tell me what happened exactly, 
perfected Xuanjin said in a low voice. He did not fully believe Xuan Yin Lai's words. Yin King Liuo could only recount the incident in full details. Perfected Xuanjin's brows were slightly furrowed. He never thought that what Xuan Yin Lai said was actually true. And what surprised him more was that Yi King Tang actually forced those two peerless school disciples to retreat just by herself. Yi Chen, what do you still have to say now? Kneel down now. The full moon peak peak master shouted coldly. However, Yi King Tang remained still and looked at the full moon peak peak master coldly. The peerless school is unrelated to me in any way. Why must I kneel? Since they were disrespectful first, what wrong do I have? You're still twisting logic and making fallacious arguments at this critical moment. The peerless school is falling Sky Valley's distinguished guest and the entire valley must be hospitable to them, but you offended the peerless school envoys, are you in the right? The full moon peak peak master bellowed coldly, Yi King Tung said, the peerless school is your guest, not mine, they're just two ordinary disciples from the peerless school, how are they distinguished guests, you? The full moon peak peak master's danger filled eyes were narrowed into slits, and he immediately shouted, men, capture Yi Chen, then, a few disciples in the main hall walked forward and wanted to seize Yi King Tung down. Yi King Tung swept a glance at them and said coldly, I came to Falling Sky Valley only for my master. You all wish to capture me? What rights do you all have? Then, a strong overbearing force was emitted around Yi King Tung, immediately draining all color from those disciples who closed in on her. The peerless school people don't even dare to touch me, and you all want to try? Yi King Tung looked at the full moon peak peak master indifferently. The full moon peak peak master was slightly stunned. Never would he have thought that this new, plain looking disciple would actually have such skills. The overbearing force Yi King Tung exerted was one that his grandson, Xuan Yun Lai, could not even compare to. The peerless school did not dare to touch him. Yi King Tung's words shocked everyone in the hall. It was then that the full moon peak peak master realized that under normal circumstances, although those two peerless school disciples were in the disadvantageous situation, they should not have retreated suddenly. As they looked at Yi King Tung's aura right now, hesitation arose in the peak master's hearts. They did not know what this Yi Chen fellow's identity was. All they knew was that he suddenly came to the Falling Sky Valley and wanted to be apprenticed to perfected Xuanjin. Moreover, the bribes that he gave to Xun Feng before he was apprenticed were shockingly valuable. Furthermore, they heard that Master Du said that he was close friends with this fellow, Xuan Yun Lai. What happened exactly then? Did the peerless school disciples really the full moon peak peak master looked at Xuan Yun Lai with uncertainty? Slightly dazed, Xuan Yun Lai replied after hesitating for a while. When Yi Chen was exchanging blows with the two envoys, he mentioned the sea of clouds at Mount Kin. Afterward, the two envoys suddenly left. Xuan Yun Lai did not understand what it meant either. But just when Xuan Yun Lai mentioned the words Sea of Clouds at Mount Kin, the expressions of everyone at the hall changed. You really heard Yi Chen saying Sea of Clouds at Mount Kin? There was a subtle change in the full moon peak peak master's expression. Yes Xuan Yun Lai was bewildered. He did not know what these words meant and why even his grandfather would have such an expression when he heard it. Chapter 780 Putting on a Complete Show 3 For a moment. The entire hall was dead silent, and everyone looked at Yi Kington with a serious expression. Yi Kington was emotionless, but she took in everyone's reaction. The full moon peak peak master frowned deeply. He never thought that this Yi Chen seemed to be related to the legendary hidden clans. Even perfected Xuanjin was slightly taken aback. He originally planned to reduce Yi Kington's punishment in secret and never thought that this fellow's identity did not seem to be so simple. Full moon peak peak master. How do you think this matter should be settled? Perfected Xuanjin returned to his senses and asked the full moon peak peak master, who was ready to bite off Yi Kington's nose just a while ago. The full moon peak peak master's face stiffened. Yi Kington was from a dubious background and possessed shocking skills. Her family clan had an abundance of resources and she even dared to go against the peerless school. The full moon peak peak master was rather convinced. If Yi Kington was really a member of a hidden clan, 
how could he lay a finger on her so easily? We will discuss this matter next time the full moon peak peak master said with consideration as he still needed to investigate Yi Kington's background before he could punish her. Xuan Yun Lai was in a daze. He originally thought that Yi Kington would die without a doubt this time. Yet why did his grandfather suddenly change his stance? What exactly was the sea of clouds at Mount Kin? Perfected Xuanjian nodded slightly and looked up at Yi Kington. Yi Chen, you can return first. Yi Kington lifted her hands and greeted Perfected Xuanjian before leaving the hall with Yin King Liu O. Oh. Just after they left the hall, Yin King Liu O oh sighed heavily. Junior brother Yi, Today was really too thrilling. When you attacked the peerless school envoys just now, I was really shocked. Yi Kington smiled faintly without saying anything. If she did not retaliate just now, given the peerless school disciples' arrogance, both she and Yin King Liu would probably have been killed by them. It was just that. This measure could only deal with the emergency at the moment. Regardless of the peerless school or falling Sky Valley, both did not take any further action as they were apprehensive about the hidden clans. But as long as they investigated this matter, they could find out the loopholes in it. Yi Kington only avoided trouble temporarily. When the full moon peak peak master finds out that she was not from the hidden clans, that would be the true disaster. She could tell that perfected Xuanjin had the intention of protecting her just now, if she could not deal with the full moon peak peak master and the rest then perfected Xuanjin would be unable to protect her safety either. Furthermore, she did not intend to flee. If she fled, her master and her fellow disciples would go through the same tragedy in her previous life. Yi Kington narrowed her eyes. At this very moment, she desperately needed to raise her skills as soon as possible. She could resolve everything only by stepping into the yin yang perfected lord state. She still had a bottle of black heaven water in her hands that she had not used. However, it was insufficient to only rely on the black heaven water. Senior sister Yin, I still have something on. You can return first. Yi Kington told Yin King Liu O. Oh. It was time for her to explore the dragon vein with Master Du. If she could attain advancements in the dragon vein, it would be the best. Yin King Liu O oh did not probe and left. After bidding goodbye to Yi Kington, after returning to her room, Yi Kington brought the little white tiger and the silver wolf with her before leaving Falling Sky Valley and heading to the central area of the monarch city. At this time in Uyang family clan, the Blood Moon Elder had passed off as Uyang Yang for half a month, and it could be said that he was in his element The Apart from the occasional grievance of being a lady, with the identity of Uyang family clan's favorite child, he had anything he wanted and lived blissfully, 